Hello and welcome to this episode of the Power On channel. Today I'm going to go through reprogramming of these Bluetooth modules. Now these Bluetooth modules are available on eBay and AliExpress and the like, you'll find them all over. And they allow you to connect your favourite speakers up and get Bluetooth streaming to them. I've done a couple of projects recently where I've uh, had Bluetooth amplifiers and, and made speakers. So, and, and one of the sort of downsides is that uh, when you get to stream the music and you look on your phone, the name that comes up on your phone is quite a pretty boring name. I think one of them I had was, it said Zinrui Radio. And uh, a lot of them actually just refer to the CSR, Cambridge Scientific, I think it's Cambridge Scientific Radio. Um, the CSR chips that um, are all built onto these boards and then maybe the sort of number designation of the chip. So a little bit boring. If you want to uh, reprogram that name, then uh, keep on watching. Now, uh, in terms of reprogramming, you will need to get this USB to SPI adapter. Uh, around about sort of 20 uh, US dollars again from AliExpress eBay. It's got a mini USB on one side which you connect through to the computer and the, the lead actually came with the device. And then on, on the other side we've got a 10-way IDC connector. Now the, there were some coloured uh, cables given with this but uh, I decided to make my own cable up that's simply 10-pin IDC through to a ribbon cable that simply plugs into there and what I've done here is to strip back the various wires that you need and just label them up with a little bit of Kapton tape and, and mark those up. Now the wires that you uh, will need to connect to each module, there's four communication wires uh, for the SPI, that's MOSI, MISO, CLOCK and CSB, dual chip select. Uh, the other two, uh, we have we have three here actually, but there's only two you need to connect. One is uh, 1.8 volts, the other one's 3.3 volts, and I'm using the 3.3 volt supply. And the other one is, of course, uh, ground. Now, pinouts to all these different modules, yes, they are all different. Some of the boards have some markings on, uh, this board particularly, I think, and, and also this board already shows where you need to make the connections. Not so obvious on here because it's just a letter rather than the full word. And this one here, a little bit cryptic because um, there are actually four connections on the back noted as not connected. Indeed they are connected and they are the four SPIs so I had to work out which ones went to the correct uh, place on the, the chip. And But as I say, um, all those sort of details are in the instructable or linked in uh, below here. Um, so yeah, the only thing now to do is to get this connected up and uh, get it reprogrammed. Um, now I think the, I mean obviously uh, what I've got done here is stripped them all individually. I have found that uh, soldering them to the individual pads is the easiest. It takes about five minutes. I did experiment with trying to make a little sort of pogo pin setup, but quite frankly because many of these boards are different in their layout, then you'd have to have several pogo pin setups. And yeah, look, I'm not in production here. Um, so yeah, soldering directly to the board is the most appropriate way. Okay, I thought I'd uh, come in and do the programming inside, uh, a little bit easier seeing at the computer desk here. So I brought the module with me, it's all pre-wired up. Point to point links uh, are just very straightforward as per the diagrams and in the links below. Um, the only exception obviously is this 10k resistor here, this is the pull-up resistor to enable the SPI. Um, so yeah, and that comes from the 3.3 volts. So let's uh, plug this in and see what this 
friendly name of this uh, device is. This actually is a, a CSR 64-bit thousand series Bluetooth device. So let's just see. Plug it in there, and also then plug it into computer. And then if we just do a quick scan, okay, it's come up with CSR A six four two one five dash I squared. S. Hopefully you guys can see that. So yeah, it's a, not a particularly friendly name, but um, anyway, it's uh, obvious which one it is. So let's see if we can reprogram this and change it. Let's just get onto the desktop now, and I'll show you where the program is kept when you've installed it. And it's actually in your local disk, program files, CSR, blue suite and in this case it's uh, version 268 and the program you want to open is called PS Tool so let's just do a double click on that it opens up now if you have your uh, USB already plugged in as I have here you should see it come up uh, as a device here and we leave this on SPI and we just hit OK and immediately it comes back and says it brings all the sort of data from the chip so before we do anything, let's make a backup of this particular module. Uh, obviously, if I was to completely stuff it up, I'm going to put it in my documents. So I'm just going to say CSR dump and the date's the 28th of February 18. Save that. Okay, that's now done. So let's come up into the filter box here, and if we just put in name, so it just um, sorts all those um, variables and just gives us the one here, which is the user's user friendly name. And in this box, you can see it, this is what it was saying on my phone minutes ago. And so if I just change that to Simon's. Bluetooth speaker and then what we do is we set this um, don't try and press any of these other buttons I think that tends to brick the device particularly resetting um, so we just need to set that and then we should be able to just if I just close that and then reopen it go back in quickly go back in put in the name you can see it now says Simon's Bluetooth speaker. Let's just check on the phone. So if I do a, a rescan, it's hopefully it's going to get rid of that one. Maybe we have to unplug it and replug it. Mm. Mm. Let's try unplugging it. Plugging it. There we go, uh, Simon's Bluetooth speaker. I don't know whether that was an issue with my phone or with the device, whether it needed a reboot or not. But yes, there's the name changed. Simple as that. See you now.